Contemporary or classic horror? <clears throat> I like, well, they both, they both are cool. I mean, I like classic because the symbols were clearer. I like the notion of, you know, digging up, digging up a man and, you know, sewing him back together. And it, I mean, that, the symbols of undead, symbols of zombies today for me are just perfect. Like the, there is no, I almost feel you could rewrite every great work of literature as a zombie novel um, to, to, to explain the modern day. Um, so the classical ones, Dracula and stuff, I mean, all those are really deep and scary. Uh, I think unconscious, unconscious uh, signs, shall we say. But, you know, put it this way, there's more purpose. I, we have to be a little bit discriminating because there is horror which just, there is shock horror. There is chainsaw horror. Of course, that's scary if, if some maniac is running around. Um, and that was more of an, that was more of a Hollywood thing. That was more of an American thing from the 80s when things got suddenly really brutal and bloody and have kind of kept notching up. And I mean, that's scary because it's just inhuman. Um, whereas real horror, and especially uh, what Britain was making, especially what Hammer was making, um, was much more about inner darkness. And you could see the, you could, you could tie yourself to those symbols much more.